Most people have probably wished to have better control over their headaches, pain, or sleep schedule at some point in their lives. At those times, you'll probably be thinking of taking some pills to alleviate your discomfort or symptoms, but what if there's a more effective way to treat these conditions? Neurofeedback is a form of biofeedback that helps people control neurological functions through monitoring brain waves and providing auditory or visual feedback. Brain waves are electric impulses that are produced when two neurons or brain cells interact. Measuring them can provide us with a lot of information about levels of stress, anxiety, pressure, cognitive abilities, or potential abnormalities in someone's brain. They are detected by a sensor called an electroencephalogram or EEG and then often displayed on a screen. There are five types of brain waves that are usually measured in neurofeedback. Here they are in order from lowest to highest frequency. Delta brain waves are the slowest and are usually present when someone is sleeping or dreaming. Theta brain waves are usually present when someone is not fully conscious, such as when they're doing deep meditation. Alpha brain waves are usually present when someone is relaxed, such as when they're doing a calming activity like yoga. Beta brain waves are present when someone is active and alert, but not too focused or too relaxed. Gamma brain waves are present when someone is very focused, such as when they're intensely concentrating on solving a problem. Let me demonstrate an example of neurofeedback. I will put on one of these smart headbands that has two EEG channel acquisition technology. It will monitor my brain waves and differentiate between my left hemisphere and my right hemisphere. Then my smartphone will show me my brain waves and tell me how to improve so I can achieve better mindfulness in the future. Here you can see the analysis of my brain waves and my levels of attention, relaxation, and pressure. Tools like this don't just have to be used for meditation. They could also be used to measure if dementia patients, like my grandmother, responded to music I played for her, for instance. 